what's up guys, it's Tavis Musashi and today I'm gonna show you guys the critical draw greatsword build, it's finally ready, do you see this greatsword right here? That's right, actually now that's the strongest greatsword in the entire game, it's the Anguish greatsword, the Devil 2 3 greatsword, now let me show you guys its features. The Anguish Greatsword comes with a total attack of 1104 with white sharpness if you manage to get at least hand, uh, handicraft level 1 and minus 20% affinity if you have the affinity increase augment. We also have 240 dragon element and high order seal. And now we also have the health regeneration augment which is gonna be very handy for this build right here that's gonna keep your health bar full most parts of the fight. Now with all the species and skills together we managed to get a total attack of 1234 with white sharpness, 0% affinity, 240 dragon element and high order seal which makes this build a very very good choice if you want to fight those tempered elder dragons. Now let me show you guys the other pieces that we have in this setup right here. So here we have the Otogaron Helm Beta, the Damascus Mayu Beta, the Basal Embraces Beta, the Otogaron Coil Beta, the Death Stanch Hill Beta and the Attack Charm 3. Now let me show you guys all the skills that we have together in this setup right here. So here we have Odogaron Mastery 2 that gives us Punishing Draw that adds a stun effect to draw attacks and slightly increases attack power. We have Attack Pulse Level 4 that increases attack by 12 points and affinity by 5%. We have Critical Y Level 4 that increases affinity by 15%. We have Critical Draw Level 3 that increases affinity by 100% for draw attacks, which is basically all that we're gonna use in this build right here. We have Bleeding Resistance Level 2 that re greatly reduces damage while bleeding. We have Critical Boost Level 2 that increases the damage dealt by Critical Hits by 35%. We have Focus Level 2 that reduces charge times by 10%. We have Handicraft Level 2 that gives us an additional weapon sharpness of 20 points which is gonna be just enough to give us a fair amount of white sharpness that's gonna last for about 20 hits. And we have the quick shift level 2 that moderately increased the shifting speed. Now let me show you guys the decoration that I use in this setup right here. So here we have one draw jewel 2 that increased the critical draw skill. We have one attack jewel 1 that increased the attack boost skill. We have two expert jewels 1 that increased the critical life skill. We have 2 Critical Jewels 2 that increase the Critical Boost skill. And we have 2 Shift Jewels 1 that increase the Quick Shift skill. Now, if you think that the Quick Shift is not a big difference in your build, it can actually change those uh, Jewels right here for Tech Jewels or Grinder Jewels to make your gaming experience even better. So that's pretty much it, guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys some few clips of me fighting some Thought Monster so you can actually witness the true power of this build right here. So thank you for watching, guys, and now check this out.